Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading for Scorpio. Um, it's not date specific, so uh, I believe in synchronicity and timing. So when this message reaches you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message. Um, we're in the midst of a polar vortex here in southern Ontario. I hope that you're somewhere nice and warm, but my window is like completely covered in ice on the inside. And um, it's so bright out there that I've had to pull the curtain a little bit just to block some of the brightness. So the cards down here might be a bit dark, but I think when I hold them up, they'll still be quite clear for you to be able to see them. So, uh, so let's just jump right in. The opening energy here today is the Queen of Earth, Scorpio. I think this is somebody um, that you have your attention on. I feel like this is somebody that you admire greatly, almost like a mentor or somebody you look up to or somebody you want to be more like. You really admire them, um, but they're a little bit mysterious to you. It's almost like maybe they're not um, somebody that you know that, you know, not somebody close to you in your personal life, but more it could be somebody at work that you, uh, you know, are acquaintances with, but you're, you don't know them on a personal level or there's just somebody that you see at a distance um, and you really, really admire them and you want to be, it's like they're inspiring you. It's not that you want to be them, um, but they're, they're sparking in you a knowing of, of your full potential and where you want to go. Um, but because she's a little bit turned away, I feel like she's a little bit mysterious to you. You know, she's not looking you directly in the eye, so you have a lot of curiosity about her. You don't fully understand her, and that could be part of the, the compelling nature here is that, is that you don't have a full understanding. She's mysterious. The mystery is kind of pulling you in a little bit. Um, next is the Six of Fire and the Two of Fire. I see this as, um, you know, as uplifting energy. You, She's, she's really... Uh, your awareness of her or your attention on her is really lifting you up to new heights. She's very, very much inspiring you um, to take, you know, to start a new adventure, to start a new creative pursuit. Um, the two of fires, like the two of wands, like beginning of a new journey. Um, and with these two, the page of air and the five of air, you know, the same message, it's like, it's like she's just really inspiring you to, you know, spread your wings. This just really uplifting, light, inspired energy. It's like like wind beneath your wings type. That's why I really get the, a strong mentor type energy from, from her. Um, I just think you really look up to her and she's, she's really bringing uh, like new illumination into your life, new inspiration. The eight of fire is like the eight of wands. So all of this new creativity and new ideas and new epiphanies are coming to you because of, of her influence. You know, she's like the, she's like the star in your night sky in a sense. Um, you know, it is, it is what she's attained is what you want to move towards. She's providing you new um, clarity, a vision, new hope an inspiration on how to move forward in your own path. It's really powerful and very positive and very uplifting. And this is you coming in, um, the seven of earth. And the way the cards fell, um, you know, how they're laid out in the spread, you can see that your eyes are, are absolutely focused on her. It's like you're completely studying her. You're so fascinated. You're trying to, you want to know everything about who she is and how she got to where she is because she, you know, she, you just admire her so much and it's, and observing her is causing all of this expansion in your crown and it's just opening up all of your, um, just creative ideas and all sorts of, of new inspiration coming in from this person. Um, the two of earth and the eight of water, you know, with this, this energy here of all this, this creative flow coming off of you is kind of um, bringing in these energies. It's like this, all this burst out the back of your head is, is bringing these visions in for you. The two of earth and the eight of water. 
Two of Earth is always um, to me about how you present yourself in the world, how you, how you, yeah, just your public face or how you offer your, yourself to the world. She's she's bringing you new clarity about that or new ideas about that. These both, um, compared to the other cards, you know, these cards are really crisp and clear and vibrant colors. But because these cards are, you know, they're a little bit hazy, I see them, although they're bringing you clarity and insight, I see them as, um, you know, like a daydream. Like there is still in your imagination. It's just stirring all of this imaginative, magical flow in you. So you're, you're, you're getting new ideas about how to be in the world and just uh, a new desire to, to be out in the world and to travel and to broaden your horizons and be more expansive. Um, the Empress, I see this as you. This is like you're um, envisioning your embodiment of this, of this Queen of Earth energy. But what I noticed about it is that um, just like this eight of uh, seven of earth card, there's all this going on up here, up in the head. There's a lot of activity up in your crown, in your imagination, in your mind's eye that she's inspiring, which is absolutely amazing and beneficial for you. But um, there, so, so my eye was drawn to that. There, there was something there about that. And then, and her holding this here, um, almost like a really closed energy. So it's like this is this is your idea about um, about how to be this in the world. But the message that she has for you, the Ace of Fire and the Messenger of Earth, the message from her is to drop down into you know the into your core, the fire in your belly. You're too far too up to this point so far. You've been very up in your head about what's going on here, about all the the ideas that are because because she's inspiring all this creativity and ideas. But the way to really embody this energy in your life, the advice from her, is to drop down into your core, into more of your creative center, and bring it up and out, open, open up this way, and not necessarily up here. The crown would obviously be involved, but you need to be a more balanced coming from your core and expanding out from there and that's kind of her secret see so she's when she opened the reading she was turned away and you didn't really know her secret but here she's showing you it's the heart and the and the solar plexus and she's she's not closed like this in presenting she's absolutely open and her core is open so that is her advice to you. This card is the same uh, for me. This, I always see this as a, a solar plexus and a heart chakra. So just really emphasizing the point that um, if you really want to step into and own this, this energy and bring it into your physical reality in the way that you clearly want to because she, she is just um, absolutely inspiring you to new levels. The secret is in your core, open your, that's where all your confidence is. That's your true nature is held there. And just to open that up and completely expand it up and out from there. So um, a really beautiful message. So I hope that it resonates with someone. Thank you. That's your reading for today. Thanks.